What's up guys, I wanted to talk about the top decks to get a legend for the month of October. A patch did recently hit killing Turtle Mage and pretty much killing Druid as well. And the meta is starting to take shape. It, it didn't change too much, but it's quite it's quite interesting regardless. Now all this information will be from Vicious Syndicate, so thanks to Vicious Syndicate. I'll link them in the description below. And before we jump into that, there there is no sponsor, but I thought maybe you could check out my second channel, Dexter Dose. In this video, I talk about how much money I make on Twitch. So if you're interested in that, check it out. Anyways, let's jump into these stats. So let's look at frequency first. We can see at all ranks, it's pretty an, an even split between Hunter Paladin, Demon Hunter, and Mage. You're going to be seeing mostly those four classes. Right below that, you're going to be seeing Rogue, Priest. And then you can see that Warlock, Shaman, Druid, they're kind of just dead. If we look at Diamond 1 through 4, we can see it's pretty much still those same four classes, but then Warrior is a little more popular than Rogue. If we look at Legend, we can see Mage is just at the top, then Demon Hunter, but still a lot of Paladin and Hunter, Warrior and Rogue. And if we look at Top 1K Legend, this is where it gets crazy. Like the meta is so different. Like if you're watching streamers that are top legend, that meta is you should you should not be playing expecting that meta. You're gonna be seeing a pocket meta, you're gonna be seeing a different meta than top 1k legend because it is so much soul demon hunter and cyclone mage. There's so much of it, it's insane. 21.3% soul demon hunter. That is that is absurd. And 18% cyclone mage. After that, the most popular archetype is a uh, control priest, then miracle rogue, then bomb warrior then face hunter then paladin and shaman and warlock are absolutely dead so um i guess that was distribution did i say frequency this is the frequency we could see that huge plunge of druid right here just that nerf absolutely killing it and then it, it sees a small spike in popularity um i've been seeing a lot of quest druids personally but uh, that doesn't seem to be uh, the, the case in this report i guess guardian is uh it's people are starting to pick it up again but we've mostly just seen a huge spike in demon hunter that is it's just there's there's so much demon hunter they got so much lifesteal and stuff it's just one of the best decks so you're going to be seeing a ton of that so we got the meta score here, um, x-axis being the power score, y-axis being the frequency. So the further to the right, the stronger it is, the further up on the y-axis towards the top, the, the more common it is, the more of it you're going to be seeing. So pure paladin, you're going to see a lot of it, and it's the strongest deck, diamond one to four. In legend, strongest deck seems to be Highlander Hunter, and it's not even that popular. So kind of cool. I've been enjoying Highlander Hunter myself. It does seem to be the best deck. And then if we look at top 1k legend, it's also Highlander Hunter and then Bomb Warrior. Uh, also almost as strong and a little bit more popular. So let's look at power rankings here. Diamond 1 through 4. The tier 1 decks are Pure Paladin, Face Hunter, and Bomb Warrior. Now we can see Highlander Hunter is actually not that high up. Well, it's tier 2. It's a solid deck. But this is pretty crazy because once, once we switch charts here to legend highlander hunter is the only tier one deck um i think i think it's good in all ranks but it just becomes super super good once you hit legend you could still you could take it a legend but for some reason once it does hit legend it's a little bit better and then face hunter real close after highlander hunter followed by cyclone mage and soul demon hunter if we look at top 1k legend the best deck there is no tier one but the best deck is highlander hunter followed by bomb warrior and then soul demon hunter so those three are quite far ahead of everything else so maybe if you're just looking to hit legend Maybe Pure Paladin is still the way to go because Diamond 1 to 4, Pure Paladin's the best. But after you get past that, Highlander Hunter is insane. Face Hunter, always good as well. Uh, also quick games. So if you're trying to climb to Legend, that's also probably a great choice. Uh, let's look at these matchup win rates. Green is good, red is bad. You can see Zoo Warlock doesn't have a lot of good matchups. Pretty good against Highlander Priest, but there's not too much of that. And then we can see something like Face Hunter barely has any bad matchups. Something like Highlander Hunter, not that many bad matchups. I like to refer to this sometimes if I lose a match, I'm like, oh, is it, was it unfavored? And then I see it's a dark red and I feel better. Or I could see it's a, a deep green and I just feel like an idiot. Okay, so I'm going to talk about uh, the three decks that are kind of standing out to me right now. These are the best decks to, to you know, push for legend. If you want more meme decks, check out my YouTube. I usually put out a bunch of videos on meme decks that perform quite well. But these are going to be more more the, the good decks. So the first deck is actually going to be the Highlander Face Hunter. 
Now this is the Vicious Syndicate build on it, and I was playing this deck earlier today. It is super strong. It's incredibly good. It plays it's similar to Face Hunter if you were playing that before because it does have Pole Kelt. And then Pole Kelt pulls uh, all your your big boys. You know, in in Face Hunter it would pull Dragon's Bane and then your Kill Commands and your Eagle Horn bows. This one's a little different because it'll guarantee that you pull that Bran. And then after that, then you pull the Dragon's Bane, then maybe your Kill Command, and then your Eagle Horn Bow, or one of your other three drops. But being able to almost, well, I guess just improve the consistency of playing Bran on seven, it's just so good. Keep in mind, if you're against a Bomb Warrior, they, they can shuffle your deck, so maybe you got to do something like dump your hand and then play Pole Kelt and uh, Reader in order to draw Bran on and all your bombs and then brand should be active for the next turn but this thing just it curves out beautifully does a ton ton of damage very aggressive toxic reinforcements is here uh, for kind of a mid game threat my my recommendation i think people play toxic reinforcements wrong once they play it out they just want to mash that hero power every turn and complete the side quest and that's not really what you need to do if you have toxic on one Go ahead and play it. If on turn two you have a two drop and you got to choose between hero power and a two drop, just play your two drop. Don't don't hero power. You don't have to rush the side quest. It'll eventually get done. Face Stalker only has two secrets here: pulling the freezing trap and pulling the snake trap. Now snake trap seems quite good because usually those little snakes can go face or clear something small. But also, if you have Zephyrus, you can use that for a savage roar for a bloodlust, something like that. I really like uh, Scavenger's Ingenuity because it pulls two things, your Tinger and your Face Stalker. So if you've drawn one, you can kind of know what it's going to pull. And then getting a buffed up Tinger, you can get double the, the buff value from, from the Ingenuity, right? Very, very good. Uh, and yeah, overall liking this a lot. Maybe you don't like Snake Trap. If you're seeing Druids, put in a Pressure instead. If you're seeing Paladins, maybe a Pressure as well. Might be a little better for like a blessing of authority or even a, a librum, librum, whatever. But yeah, that is an amazing deck. Next up, we got the Bomb Warrior. And this is a Galakrond Bomb Warrior. And basically, it does a lot of nothing besides putting bombs in your opponent's deck. You just, you equip the wrench caliber, you can upgrade it, you slap them, you slap them, you slap them again. It breaks. You play another one, you slap them a bunch. That breaks. You put the pillager, you slap them again. You use Krasnov for, for plus one, plus one. Use Blastmaster Boom to get a bunch of bombs on the board. Uh, and then you just have a ton of removal. Coerce. Sword and board. Shield slam. You got Barov. You can sword and board your own Barov to, to kill him to clear the board. You got Kronks and Galakrond in there. And once you Galakrond, you get plus three damage every turn with that new hero power, which just applies so much pressure. Um, so it's just a bunch of removal and a bunch of bombs in your opponent's deck. And you kind of just wait for them to just draw the bombs and kind of kill themselves. It's not a very proactive deck, and uh, it just seems to somehow win games. It ruins Highlander decks, so if Highlander Hunter does become an issue, I guess this will probably control it a little bit. Um, So we got the standard Soul Demon Hunter here. Soul Demon Hunter is so good. It's uh, It's got a lot of healing, got a lot of damage. And people seem to love it. I guess it's a lot of fun. You can shuffle those those fragments into your deck with the Jailer, with the, the Soul Shear, with the Marrow Slicer, and then you, you pull them out with the Lapidary. You get that extra damage. And if you have the, the Warblades equipped, you know, you, you put the Lapidary, that's going to give you plus five, then you twin, then you second, then you hero power, boom. You know, a 12, 12 damage attack that also heals you. Absolutely insane. Uh, Skull Godan, insane draw, uh, sociologist, you know, just a great way to reclaim the board if you've somehow lost it. I know a lot of people were running, uh, what's his name? Big, big demon guy who blows up the board. And no one, no one seems to run that anymore. I guess it's just not that great. Magtheridon. Yeah, if you want to run Magtheridon, I guess you can, but it seems like uh, sometimes he's just a little bit awkward. But this thing has an amazing amount of, of, of clear and control. The Shattered Shard Mystic, you know, it's a dust breaker, and it's so easy to fulfill the condition of having a shard in your deck. We got the Wand Makers here that are going to give you an amazing one mana spell. Maybe it's Twin Slice, maybe it's Consume, maybe it's that thing that draws an Outcast card, and then you get your Skull of Gul'dan, and then you play the Skull of Gul'dan. Uh, Blade Dance, one of the best AoE clears, it seems, since you always have such easy access to increase your, your attack power. Just using a Blade Dance 
doing <laughs> an easy eight damage to like three things. It's so good. And I mean, it's an interesting play style. If you want to play Demon Hunter, this is the deck. And it's so different than Demon Hunter from last expansion. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I don't know if you remember, but last time I, I had this form that you guys did and I was kind of just going to go over the responses here. Uh, the data is a bit dated because after I did this survey, a patch hit and it's like people wanted them to nerf GA. People wanted them to nerf Pilgrim and Overgrowth um, and Lightning Bloom. And now you don't really see Turtle Mage is dead and Druid is kind of dead. But yeah, lots of lots of that. Lots of braggart. People don't like braggart for some reason, but it seems like a lot of bloom. Um, I would have to go through all of these individually and kind of keep track of them. But I feel like the uh, the data is just dated. But maybe you guys will find this interesting as I scroll through this stuff real quick. Worst card. I guess I could still talk about worst card. Most underrated card. A lot of responses here. I thought this was interesting. What class do you hate the most? People hate priest the most. Priest isn't even that popular. There's not that much priest. And then after that, people hate mage, but I think it was mostly because of turtle mage. And then people hate demon hunter, which this has probably gone up a bit since there's so much demon hunter and it's kind of frustrating to play against. Which class do you like the most? People seem to like shaman the most and mage the most, which is weird because people hate mage, but they love mage. I think it's, it's, it's fun to play like all the created by stuff, but it's really frustrating to lose against. Um, but yeah, people like Shaman, even though Shaman's kind of dead. Maybe I, my audience is also biased. And then people like Hunter. Again, maybe my audience is biased. And then which format do you play? Obviously, my audience is biased here. Everyone plays standard. A little, little bit of wild. Uh, Battlegrounds. And what what's Arena? So uh, yeah, there's that. Um, again, check out my second channel, Dexter Dose. If you want, um, if you like the video, hit it with a thumbs up. You could subscribe if you're not subscribed. Wait a minute. Let me look at the stats here. Hey, this is pretty good, actually. Hey, look at this. Here's some stats. 54.4% of you are not subscribed. You can press the button. It's free. And look at this. My 1.2% females. Thank you. Thank you for watching. And yeah, you can see the, the age breakdown as well. Pretty cool. But that's about it. I hope you guys, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Good luck on ladder and stay hydrated. <laughs>